a place where students could come, setting aside this little time of their life before they fall into a, a, a career or, uh, or maybe it's even between a school break, and sit here on a rock and study the Word of God, to hear the voice of God, and to learn and to hear that voice, to come to this mountain loving Jesus, but really leave loving Him more. Hi, this is Pastor Don McClure. I've been with Calvary Chapel now, getting close to 40 years. And one of the most thrilling things I think I've ever been involved in is up here at Montana Bible School, where we are taking a small number of students each term, wanting to set aside time to be with them, to disciple and train them in the Word, hopefully in an in-depth way. To do this, we have gathered together a wonderful group of pastors to come and share. Pastors such as Joe Fosch, from Philadelphia, Danny Hodges down in Florida, Lloyd Pulley in New Jersey, Chuck Smith, of course, from Calvary and Costa Mesa, Pastor Greg Laurie, John Michaels, myself, and others that want to pour concentrated time into the students to help build and equip them for service and ministry. As you are looking at how God may be calling your life to serve Him, I pray that you might consider an opportunity like coming here to the school. I think it's a gorgeous place and a wonderful time to grow in the Lord in a concentrated way. May the Lord lead you as you pray about your future. I can just come to Him and just sit here on the top of a mountain and have everything, get everything that He has for me. He, he told me I had to be bold. The boldness to follow Him. The boldness to not be of the world. To, the boldness to not be a people pleaser. The size of the school, but you get more of a one-on-one -on -one. Um, time with instructors and, and with each other. And the heart behind the, the student that I believed the Lord was going to bring us was that they had a willingness for change. That they were willing to come and be open to anything that the Lord would have for them. It really helped me see my life in perspective, how I really am broken without the Lord and how I do need Him in my life. And He's the only one that can reshape me and remold me into what He wants. All I know is I really love him, and I want to dedicate the rest of my life as much as I have left to him. Jesus has changed my life in many ways. Uh, I think the biggest thing is not looking at the future and just focusing every day on its own, and uh, you know, just seeking first the kingdom of God and just letting everything else fade away. The longer I'm here, the more I realize that it's just about Jesus and getting to know who He is. Um, and the more I learn about Him, the less I care about me, and I just learn to trust that He has a plan for my life and that I'm not in control of any of it. The biggest way that I've changed is I'm developing a devotional life with the Lord, and I never really had that back home. Um, I just see how important it is to get in the Word every day and just be immersed in, in Jesus. Every day, His love for me comes more alive day by day, sermon by sermon, um, prayer by prayer. Uh, it's just complete surrender to Him daily. 
that he comes alive to me more and more. And definitely mostly through prayer and worship. The Bible has really been tunnel vision to me now with the teaching and just the outpouring of God's word and things that God's really given me tunnel vision on scripture and how important it is. I always knew it was, but the applying it to life, hearing it and then doing it is going to be the most important factor in teaching, making disciples, and also being transformed by the word. I've met him here in a way like I've, I've never known him before. Jesus has become real to me. He's a person and he loves to fellowship with me. My life has changed because of his grace. And Oh, it's been so good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. And it has been more than anything that we could have hoped for. In 1 Corinthians 2 9, the Lord gave me this verse many years ago that, that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind conceived what I have prepared for those who love me. And I believe with my whole heart that if you come to this ranch loving Jesus, the plans that he has for you far exceed anything you could hope for or imagine. I, I sit back and I marvel at watching what the Lord has done. I sat back the other night with another friend of mine who'd been going through this whole process with me as he's watched the Lord uh, unfold Potter's Field Ranch. And he was asking me, Mike, how did it happen? And I said, I don't know. It's just so God. It just is so God. That's the best way for me to explain it. God has shown up. The Lord Jesus Christ is glorified on this property. And uh, I just believe it's for anybody who will come, sit, read, study, pray, and, and come expecting God to do great things.